Hi guys, MTech Guy here, and today we're going to talk about oil consumption on the E60 M5. Yes, oil consumption. Now this is the type of super exciting subject we talk about on this channel. So if you guys haven't tuned out out of boredom so far, we're going to take a look under the bonnet and have a good chat about oil consumption. All right. There she is, look, the glorious S85 V10 engine. So I think before we go any further, we just need to stop for a minute and appreciate just how beautiful this engine looks. I mean, take a look at that, are you kidding me? All right, so oil consumption on the S85 V10 engine. Now this is something that I get asked about quite frequently because it's a very, very common problem on these cars. Okay, so why is it so common on these cars? Well, there's a number of contributing factors that can cause high excessive oil consumption on your S85 V10. So before we start to have a closer look in the engine bay, if we first take a look in the owner's manual, now what does this tell us about the oil level? Well, this tells us that engine oil consumption depends on driving style and the operating conditions. So, okay, well, that tells us something, but doesn't really let us know anything, you know, because now it still leaves us with the question of what's an acceptable consumption level. Now, if we go right back to when the car was new, depending on the way the car's engine was broken in initially, this can have a huge effect on the life cycle of the engine over the long term, especially on oil consumption. So if it was driven hard from cold, if it was let to run low on engine oil and still run, this can have a huge effect on the cylinder walls, the valve guide seals, this type of thing, you know? And unfortunately, there's not much you can do about this. You know, we've got no control on how the car was looked after early on in its life. So some owners are luckier than others. Now another thing to keep in mind with these engines, of course, they don't have a dipstick, so we're solely relying on that electronic display on the dashboard there. Now the whole concept behind that, especially on an engine like this, is absolutely insane. And then the level that you're relying on, on the dash there, it's off its head at the best of times. You can do an oil change on one of these cars. You know, you've probably seen this on previous videos of mine. It'll just want like 0.3 of a litre top up. So you give it 0.3 of a litre, you do another reading, it doesn't register it and you, you can keep topping it up and topping it up and it doesn't register it initially and then you've got to take it for a long drive and then it gives you a different reading. So this can have a bearing on what may look like excessive oil consumption sometimes. You know, one minute it might let you know that the readings uh, say at the perfect level, next minute it's telling you that it's 0.5 under. So, you know, I wouldn't put too much faith in the actual level on the dashboard there. But nonetheless, over the long term, you are going to notice if you have got an excessive oil consumption, if it's going down all the time and you're frequently topping it up and it's not maintaining a decent level. Now then, obviously, it doesn't necessarily have to be an internal consumption issue. All engines can leak oil, but it must be said that these engines are extremely well built. Now, everybody raves on about M54 engines and N54 engines, you know, the straight sixes, and how reliable they are, how awesome they are. And, you know, that's true to a certain extent. I've owned many BMWs with the M54 engine. I've got my one series now with the N54 engine, and they are great engines. But I tell you what, them things leak like an absolute sieve if you don't keep on top of keeping up with the gaskets with the preventative maintenance they'll leak frequently and i had my e46 330 ci what i owned that for nine years i ended up putting three valve cover gaskets on the engine in that time and all this was due to oil leaks now we we're pretty lucky with the s85 v10 engines because like i say they're extremely well built they're well put together and as far as oil leaks are concerned, they're one of the most reliable engines against that type of thing that BMW have ever made. It's a very rare that you'll experience excessive oil leaks around the main engine area. Now, the one place that they are very typical of leaking oil, so if you are experiencing what might seem like excessive oil consumption, you know, you're forever topping the thing up, the one place you want to be looking for oil leaks more than anywhere, it's super common, is the oil colour right around the front here now normally it's just the connection from the hoses to the oil cooler itself there's a little block up there now that's got a couple of o-rings in there and it's very common that these can become hard and brittle over time and it will start to weep now it's not always the case that it is the o-ring sometimes it's the cooler itself and you know it's no wonder being down here at the front of the car here it's exposed to road debris and stones and whatnot so you know it's very common that you might 
pierce a little hole in there and you are going to get a bit of an oil weep so it's definitely worth checking that out if you are experiencing oil consumption. Now then, another item worth considering is the engine oil viscosity that you're using in your S85 V10. Now if you're choosing to run a thinner oil rather than the recommended 10W60 and you have got some internal engine oil consumption going on this is just going to accelerate things so you're likely to notice it more if you are running a thinner viscosity. And lastly and probably the biggest cause of high engine oil consumption on a S85 V10 is the failure of your PCV valves. Now these are positioned at the back of each rocker cover, at the back of each valve cover there and there and this is part of your PCV system now what can happen over time is these can get gummed up they almost act as a little non-return valve and they'll get gummed up they'll get stuck and then your PCV valve isn't functioning properly and this will contribute to excessive oil consumption now there are a couple of identical valves right down the back of the engine that is part of the same system but they're more of an oil drain back valve whereas the ones on the valve covers act like PCV valves so if you're finding that you have got high excessive oil consumption it is worth pulling them out cleaning them but they're, they're a relatively cheap part you might as well just change them out and if you've got over 60 80,000 miles on your engine it's more than likely that they are starting to become compromised all right guys so there we have it that's some of the main contributing factors to excessive oil consumption on your E60 M5 your M6 anything with a S85 V10 engine. Now if you found the video interesting or useful don't forget to give it a like and make sure you go and check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more BMW M5 videos, S85 videos, DIY videos, this type of thing you know. Alright, I'm M Tech Guy. thanks a lot for watching.